Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn to use Dreamweaver to edit the rows and columns of web page tables. Make sure that you have the same table open that we have been using in previous lessons. First, let's add a fourth column to this table. Move your mouse over the very outside of the table until you see a red outline and then click. This will select the entire table and you can use the Properties Inspector to examine and edit its various settings. Click inside the Columns or Calls text field and use your Backspace or Delete key to get rid of the number 3 and then type in 4. Then hit the Enter key on your keyboard. You will see that Dreamweaver adds another column to your table. Click inside of New Cells and type text. To delete a column, move your mouse above the column you want to delete until you see a black arrow pointing at the column along with a red outline around only the column. Click to select the column, then press the Delete key on your keyboard. This will remove the column. You can add and delete rows using this same method. You can also use the Properties Inspector to manually change the width of each column. Click on the column to choose it, and then click within the Width text field in the Properties Inspector. Type in 200 and press the Enter key on your keyboard. You will see the column adjust accordingly. I can do this with the other two columns to make sure that my 600 pixel wide table has three columns of equal width. Keep in mind though, there are a few pixels used as padding between the cells so that each cell might actually be a few pixels more narrow than I intended. If I click on the outside of the table to select it, Dreamweaver will display the pixel widths of each column as well as the pixel width of the entire table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.